My Tavia's triangle is correct too. So you guys really need to know the size of a triangle for what we're doing today. So it's important you know which side is opposite, which side is adjacent, and which side is hypotenuse. If I were a side and I'm next to Evelyn like this, which side would I be? Well, which side is too close? Adjacent. Adjacent. If I were right here, which side would I be? Opposite. Right? So adjacent is always touching the angle. Opposite is across from the angle. So I want you guys to turn to your engineering material, and we're going to go over how you can find which function to use given a ratio. Right? So now that we know Sokotoa like no other, I want you to look at the triangle on the paper in front of you. And it should be labeled, but none of the angle measures are labeled. So we see angle A, B, and C, but none of them have measures. So if I were to give you a ratio, like let's say we gave you 12, over 13, our goal is to figure out which trig function we would use to solve for these angles. Okay, what's our goal today, Terrence? Mm -hmm. To figure out which trig function we are using when we're given a ratio. So, our first step, can Brandon read the first step, please? Pick an angle. Pick an angle. Pick an angle. You don't have to know the measure of the angle. You just have to pick one, A, B, or C, right? We're going to focus on A and C because those two angles will have, um, they aren't the right angles, so they're easier to use. <laughs> All right. Okay. Step two. Can you read that piece, Crystal? Um, find one side that corresponds with the ratio. Find one side that corresponds to the ratio given. Okay, so if we picked an angle, oh, the next step is to find the side that corresponds with that angle. Isaac, can you read step number three, please? On the second side that corresponds to the ratio given. What was that? Sorry. Find the second side that corresponds. Find the second side. All right, and then can I get Octavia to read step number four? Sign, right? 
So using this ratio, we know that the sine of whatever angle A is, is going to equal to that. Everyone should be following along in their notes. Pencils should be moving. Right? Now, is this the only trig function we can use? What if we picked a different angle? What if we picked angle C? What is the first side in relation to angle C? Opposite adjacent. I don't know. Pardon interruption. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. I need to check your email as soon as possible, sir. All right. Thank you. Angle C. Where is 12 in relation to angle C? Adjacent. Who said that? Was that Elizabeth? It's absolutely. It's adjacent. So let's try it again. So 12 is adjacent. What about angle 13? Or deciding 13. Where is that in relation to angle C? It's still a hypotenuse. And which trig function can we use for adjacent over hypotenuse? Cosine. So the cosine of angle C also uses the same ratio. And that is all we're doing today. We are figuring out which ratio or which trig functions to use when we're given just the ratio. So there can be multiple ones for multiple triangles. It can differ, you can do it many different ways, but this one has two right answers, sine A and cosine C. Okay. All right, everyone should flip over. To your guided practice. So, just to check for understanding. Crystal, are we going to know the angle measures in these problems? No. No. The only information we are given is what? I could. This ratio, right? Mm -hmm. These types of problems will only give us the ratio. So you're going to be seeing problems that are going to ask you, which trig function do you use with this ratio? And your job is to figure out which angle to choose. And remember, it can be many different angles. And you have to know which sides are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Right? So if we're using angle A, Elizabeth, which side is this to angle A? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Opposite, exactly. And what about this side, Corbin? Mm -hmm. Hypotenuse, exactly. And Mr. Keeney, what about this side? Is it opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse to angle A? This one. Looking at angle A, is it opposite, adjacent, adjacent, exactly. So those skills are going to be key, key to learning this today. So everyone flip over to your guided practice. And I want you to begin in your table groups. I want everyone to first assign a reader. They're going to read a lot of steps. Take about 10 seconds to pick a reader.